The orbital angular momentum of light OAM is the component of angular momentum of a light beam that is dependent on the field spatial distribution, and not on the polarization. It can be further split into an internal and an external OAM. The internal OAM is an origin-independent angular momentum of a light beam that can be associated with a helical or twisted wavefront. The external OAM is the origin-dependent angular momentum that can be obtained as cross-product of the light beam position center of the beam and its total linear momentum. Introduction A beam of light carries a linear momentum p display style math bf p and hence it can be also attributed an external angular momentum l e equals r times p display style math bf l underscore e equals math bf r times math bf p this external angular momentum depends on the choice of the origin of the coordinate system. If one chooses the origin at the beam axis and the beam is cylindrically symmetric at least in its momentum distribution, the external angular momentum will vanish. The external angular momentum is a form of OAM, because it is unrelated to polarization and depends on the spatial distribution of the optical field e. A more interesting example of OAM is the internal OAM appearing when a paraxial light beam is in a so-called helical mode. Helical modes of the electromagnetic field are characterized by a wavefront that is shaped as a helix with an optical vortex in the center at the beam axis. See figure. The helical modes are characterized by an integer number m display style m positive or negative if m equals 0 display style m equals 0 the mode is not helical and the wavefronts are multiple disconnected surfaces for example a sequence of parallel planes from which the name plane wave if m equals plus or minus 1 display style m equals pm1 the handedness determined by the sign of m display style m the wavefront is shaped as a single helical surface with a step length equal to the wavelength lambda display style lambda if m Two display style m gexlant two. The wavefront is composed of m display style m distinct but intertwined helices with the step length of each helix surface equal to m lambda display style m lambda and a handedness given by the sign of m display style m the integer m display style m is also the so-called topological charge of the optical vortex light beams that are in a helical mode carry non-zero oam in the figure to the right the first column shows the beam wavefront shape the second column is the optical phase distribution in a beam cross section, shown in false colors. The third column is the light intensity distribution in a beam cross section with a dark vortex core at the center. As an example, any Laguerre Gaussian mode with rotational mode number L does not equal zero. Display style L N E Q zero has such a helical wavefront.
Topic: Mathematical expressions for the orbital angular momentum of light. The classical expression of the orbital angular momentum in the paraxial limit is the following: L equals E zero I equals X Y Z E I R times A I D three R Display style Math BF L equals Epsilon underscore zero sum underscore I equals x y z int left E carrot I left Math BF R times Math BF Nabla right a carrot I right D carrot three Math BF R where E Display style Math BF E and A Display style math BF A are the electric field and the vector potential, respectively. E zero display style epsilon underscore zero is the vacuum permittivity, and we are using SI units. The I display style I Superscripted symbols denote the Cartesian components of the corresponding vectors. For a monochromatic wave this expression can be transformed into the following one L equals E0 2 I omega I equals X Y Z E I R times E I D three R Display style Math BF L equals frac epsilon underscore zero two I omega sum underscore I equals x y z int left E carrot I carrot ast left Math BF R times Math BF Nabla right E carrot I right D carrot three Math BF R This expression is generally non vanishing when the wave is not cylindrically symmetric. In particular, in a quantum theory, individual photons may have the following values of the OAM L Z equals M Display style Math BF L underscore Z equals M H B A R the corresponding wave functions eigenfunctions of OAM operator have the following general expression R M E I M Phi Display style Langle Math BF R M Wrangle Propto E carrot M Phi where Phi Display style Phi is the cylindrical coordinate as mentioned in the introduction, this expression corresponds to waves having a helical wavefront see figure above, with an optical vortex in the center, at the beam axis. <laughs> Production of OAM states Orbital angular momentum states with L equals plus or minus 1 display style l equals pm1 occur naturally oam states of arbitrary l display style l can be created artificially using a variety of tools such as using spiral phase plates spatial light modulators and q plates 
Spiral wave plates, made of plastic or glass, are plates where the thickness of the material increases in a spiral pattern in order to imprint a phase gradient on light passing through it. For a given wavelength, an OAM state of a given L requires that the step height the height between the thinnest and thickest parts of the plate be given by S equals L lambda n minus one display style S equals L lambda n one where n display style n is an integer. Although the wave plates themselves are efficient, they are relatively expensive to produce, and are, in general, not adjustable to different wavelengths of light. Another way to modify the phase of the light is with a diffraction grating. For an L equals zero, display style L equals zero state, the diffraction grating would consist of parallel lines. However, for an L equals 1 display style L equals 1 state there will be a fork dislocation and the number of lines above the dislocation will be one larger than below. An OAM state with L greater than 1 display style l greater than 1 can be created by increasing the difference in the number of lines above and below the dislocation as with the spiral wave plates these diffraction gratings are fixed for l display style l but are not restricted to a particular wavelength a spatial light modulator operates in a similar way to diffraction gratings, but can be controlled by computer to dynamically generate a wide range of OAM states. <laughs> Recent advances Theoretical work suggests that a series of optically distinct chromophores are capable of supporting an excitonic state whose symmetry is such that in the course of the exciton relaxing, a radiation mode of non-zero topological charge is created directly. Most recently, the geometric phase concept has been adopted for OAM generation. The geometric phase is modulated to coincide with the spatial phase dependence factor, i.e. E I M phi display style E caret M phi of an OAM carrying wave. In this way, geometric phase is introduced by using anisotropic scatterers. For example, a metamaterial composed of distributed linear polarizers in a rotational symmetric manner generates an OAM of order 1. To generate higher order OAM wave, nano antennas which can produce the spin obit coupling effect are designed and then arranged to form a metasurface with different topological charges. Consequently, the transmitted wave carries an OAM, and its order is twice the value of the topological charge. Usually, the conversion efficiency is not high for the transmission type metasurface. Alternative solution to achieve high transmittance is to use complementary metasurface. On the other hand, it is much easier to achieve high conversion efficiency, even 100% efficiency in the reflection type metasurface such as the composite PEC PMC metasurface. <laughs> Potential use in telecommunications Research into OAM has suggested that light waves could carry hitherto unprecedented quantities of data through optical fibers. 
According to preliminary tests, data streams traveling along a beam of light split into eight different circular polarities have demonstrated the capacity to transfer up to 2.5 terabits of data equivalent to 66 DVDs or 320 gigabytes per second. Further research into OAM multiplexing in the radio and MM wavelength frequencies has been shown in preliminary tests to be able to transmit 32 gigabits of data per second over the air. There is an ongoing discussion if this will add any capacity on top of other schemes, such as MIMO. Measuring the orbital angular momentum of light Determining the spin angular momentum SAM of light is simple, SAM is related to the polarization state of the light, the AM is, per photon, in a left and right circularly polarized beam respectively. Thus the SAM can be measured by transforming the circular polarization of light into a P or S polarized state by means of a wave plate and then using a polarizing beam splitter that will transmit or reflect the state of light. The development of a simple and reliable method for the measurement of orbital angular momentum OAM of light, however, remains an important problem in the field of light manipulation. OAM per photon arises from the amplitude cross-section of the beam and is therefore independent of the spin angular momentum, whereas SAM has only two orthogonal states, the OAM is described by a state that can take any integer value n as the state of OAM of light is unbounded, any integer value of L is orthogonal to independent from all the others. Where a beam splitter could separate the two states of SAM, no device can separate the n if greater than two modes of OAM, and, clearly, the perfect detection of all n potential states is required to finally resolve the issue of measuring OAM. Nevertheless, some methods have been investigated for the measurement of OAM. Counting spiral fringes Beams carrying OAM have a helical phase structure. Interfering such a beam with a uniform plane wave reveals phase information about the input beam through analysis of the observed spiral fringes. In a Mach Zender interferometer, a helically phased source beam is made to interfere with a plane wave reference beam along a collinear path. Interference fringes will be observed in the plane of the beam waste and or at the Rayleigh range. The path being collinear, these fringes are pure consequence of the relative phase structure of the source beam. Each fringe in the pattern corresponds to one step through, counting the fringes suffices to determine the value of L. <laughs> <laughs> Diffractive holographic filters Computer-generated holograms can be used to generate beams containing phase singularities, and these have now become a standard tool for the generation of beams carrying OAM. This generating method can be reversed, the hologram, coupled to a single-mode fiber of set entrance aperture, becomes a filter for OAM. This approach is widely used for the detection of OAM at the single photon level. The phase of these optical elements results to be the superposition of several fork holograms carrying topological charges selected in the set of values to be demultiplexed. The position of the channels in far field can be controlled by multiplying each fork hologram contribution to the corresponding spatial frequency carrier. Other methods Other methods to measure the OAM of light include the rotational Doppler effect, systems based on a dove prism interferometer, optical transformations, the measure of the spin of trapped particles, and the study of diffraction effects from apertures. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Quantum information applications. OAM states can be generated in coherent superpositions and they can be entangled, which is an integral element of schemes for quantum information protocols. These states can be generated using parametric down conversion, and correlations measured using spatial light modulators SLM. Using Kudits with D levels, as opposed to a qubit's two levels, has been shown to improve the robustness of quantum key distribution schemes. OAM states provide a suitable physical realization of such a system, and a proof of principle experiment with seven OAM modes from L equals minus three. Display style L equals minus three two L equals three Display style L equals three has been demonstrated. Equals equals see also